Hi, I'm Roger Peterson. Welcome back to Pro 423. Well, I'm convinced that if you have a clear picture of what it looks like to baby step forward, that you're going to do just fine. Uh, so I want to give you a couple more ideas right now to help bring clarity to your mind. Because remember, with clarity comes motivation. Okay. So there's a phrase that I uh, have used oftentimes, 20 steps forward, 19 back. Now I know that the normal phrase is two steps forward, one back. But the reality of it is, is when you're wrestling with dysfunctions, reactions that you've had for dozens and dozens of years, sometimes it takes 20 times before you get it right once. Therefore, 20 steps forward, 19 back. And you might be saying to yourself, well, there's no way I can do it 19 times wrong and still keep going to get that 20th time. If you were by yourself, I'd probably agree. But if you have friends around you who are walking the, through this with you, if they understand it takes time, and you got to remember, two can do what one cannot. If you're digging up and revisiting injuries and healing from those things and processing through them, your heart has got new strength, you have friends around you, yes, you can. Yes, you can do it 20 times to get it right once. And you know what? The next time you try it, it'll only take 11 or 12 times to get it right again. And the next time, it'll probably, first, second try, you're probably going to be able to do it. And then you're ready for the next baby step. And in time, you can change those deep, deep patterns. But again, to get a clear understanding of what it looks like, I want you to think about those dogs that you've seen on Animal Planet. Those dogs that have been mistreated and abused for years and years, and they finally get rescued by the animal police, whoever they are, and, and they come into a, a warm environment where people just want to love on them and help them heal. And so uh, a person who loves them and cares about them reaches down to pet the dog, and the dog does one of two things, right? Either snarls, right, because he thinks the hand is going to attack him, and that's the way he handles it, or the dog pulls back in fear and, and won't let the, the hand touch him. Now the hand just wants to pet and love them, but they don't know that. That dog is afraid. That dog is used to doing things a certain way. How long does it take to, to change that pattern of behavior in the dog? It's not quick. It's not quick, is it? Well, that's us and our dysfunction. And it just takes time like that to, to warm up to the idea of a different way to do things, to retrain our brain into reacting a different, healthier way. I wish God would just reach down with a simple prayer and commitment and fix all of our hearts, but He doesn't seem to be doing that. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes friends, it takes revisiting injuries, but our heart can heal. We can learn new ways to react. We can become a gentle, patient, loving, happy, less intense, less demanding, powerful lover of people. Yes, we can with a healthy heart. Yes, we can with God's help. Yes, we can.